Welcome to Robert Land. That's right, your favorite not safe for work comedy theme park podcast. And I'm your host, Robert Thompson. Here's your co-host, Roscoe Soltrain. Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is a good How you guys doing? Oh, wow, that was it. <laughs> Damn, man. Man, boy. I think I, I actually uh just my anus just prolapsed right there. Oh, just, whoa, dude. Yeah, that was that sound when it hit the floor it's just very, a second ago. Be careful, man. It's very uh, just, Ava Divine of you, dude. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm excited, guys. That's very, it, for it, very div- appropriate here for uh, <laughs> this this episode. Wow. Okay, good. Well, I'm. this is quite divine because we're going to hear a lot about a theme park that has so much history. Uh, oh, my God. It's insane. So much history that you have no idea. And I didn't want to tell you anything about this place because... It's fucking crazy. All it's I, crazy. All I know is that it influenced Disneyland, big time. And and, and I'm sure there's much more. So we're, we got to get more. we got to get into this, man. This is oh yes. What, so uh, the name of the theme park, Children's Fairyland USA in Oakland, California. Yeah, well, all since of 1950. Man, um, I so are we, are we gonna talk about the pedophiles that have been there? Because. Well, actually, they, they, uh, <laughs> that, no, that no, we're not. name is okay. Good, because yeah. I want to have fun, and the, I don't yeah. want to hear about disgusting, awful things. And I don't think any have been there. I hope that there's a force field. Well, the, the fairies use a force field. <laughs> to, you know. I mean, fuck. We started the episode off talking about anal prolapse, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited. You guys know what you're in for. This is Robert Land. We love theme parks and we love poo-poo jokes, yeah. but we love you guys most of all. So before we get into uh, Children's Fairyland, Fairyland, USA in Oakland, California, we are going to go to our favorite segment, your favorite segment, a theme park minute with Zach Hillman. Enjoy. Enjoy. This is Theme Park Minute with Zach Hillman. Ridden enough roller coasters for a lifetime? Me neither. But if you're in the mood to try something different, head over to Drive a Tank in Minnesota. In case you couldn't tell from the name, they let you drive a motherfucking tank and show your dad who the big man is now. Sadly, they can't recreate the existential crises and near constant torment that accompany true armed combat. But park planners are hard at work making that dream a reality. <laughs> oh, man. oh man! Oh Zachariah, you cracked me up, yeah. dude. <laughs> so uh, me and Zach, we you know we have a, a butt baby, right? You do, yeah. yeah, we do. And just recently, um, it got pink eye. Unfortunately, I don't oh, I don't know how man. that happened, but um, I think it's just going to be a, a thing that we're going to have. Me and Zach are going to have to deal with. Um, it might be a chronic condition. Yeah, with our, our baby. Um, how many the, pounds is the butt baby? Fourteen. Damn, dude. Yeah, it it hurt. Yeah, I'm still recovering. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, wait, so wait, who birthed the baby? Was me. it both? Uh, oh, Just snap. Me. Yeah. Mama Ross, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was quite the scene. I, I actually put up the birthing video on our Patreon page. Nice. Yeah, check uh, it out, guys. Yeah. Robert Land page. We haven't updated in a while, but if you want to see uh, you want to see um, a baby, butt baby come yeah. out of Ross's butthole. Me and Zach. Zach yeah, Hillman. Yeah, so I, I, I'm excited to see that you myself. Enjoy. And so, man, okay, we got to get right into this because this is a this is a legendary theme park. Yeah, and before we do that, I, I just want to kind of give you a, a little like um, my history with Children's Fairyland. Yeah, I went there. I have weird memories of being at Children's Fairyland as a young young kid. Like I'm talking two two three years old, and I'm trying to figure out who I went with because I talked to my mom. She doesn't remember taking me to this place. Um, so I'm wondering, I, I'm wondering who I went with because I, I did go there. I, I fucking, I, I have, I have a, <laughs> I, I have a, a, a little, like a postcard or a painting from Children's Fairyland that I've had since I was a kid. So I just didn't pull that out of my ass. You know, I, yeah. Of, That's funny. She, has no, she got like her memory erased. Well, or I, <laughs> I, mean, I told her, I was like, this is probably 35 years ago that we went there. Yeah, so she, yeah. she doesn't fucking remember. Yeah. You know, but in, regardless. Um, Children's Fairyland USA is a theme park that it is, they say, now there's a lot of stuff that I'm kind of wondering what's true or not with Children's Fairyland or what is like embellished, but they say that it's the oldest theme park in the United States. Really? Yes. They say it's the oldest themed amusement park. And maybe it's the way they, they word it. It's the oldest themed amusement park in the United States. Yeah, because there, there was like the... Uh, there was some, there's like that one in England, I forget what it's called, Vander... This is USA. Vander Schnotz or something, but it, it came to America, but that wasn't like a themed thing. This is themed. Yeah, so, this is themed so it's park. old school, man. A lot of the structures that were built in 1950 are still there to this day. 
That's so crazy. And when you look at when you look at the grounds of of Children's Fairyland, weirdly in downtown Oakland, it 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 looks like a 1950s theme park. It's fucking rad. That's cool. It's rad. So, one thing that you got to know about Children's Fairyland is that this place is meant for little little kids. I'm talking like toddlers, seven years old and down. You know, I think that if you're eight years old or nine years old, you'll definitely get a kick out of it because it's like a there's there's like I think there's 17 different like play sets or play areas. So you can as a kid you can run around there and fucking rip you know shit all over that park but um it's definitely meant for little kids it's it's got um you know it's right off the shore of lake Merritt in oakland have you ever been to oakland before yeah my aunt lives in oakland okay there you go yeah, yeah. so it started off um that w- it was basically funded by the lake Merritt breakfast club or the oakland Bre- i think it was the oakland lake Merritt breakfast club and they wanted to bring a theme park to Oakland. And when Walt Disney was looking for inspiration for Disneyland, they say that he borrowed a lot from Children's Fairyland. And he borrowed so much, he actually ended up hiring people from Children's Fairyland to work at Disneyland. Really? He hired their their main puppet director, and he uh-huh. hired their like children or like this youth a youth director because I think at Disneyland when when it was first constructed there was a lot of like youth activities yeah so they brought in a lot of what Children's Fairyland was doing to Disneyland in the early days wow and the girl that they hired from Children's Fairyland ended up working at at Disneyland until like 1970 to when she retired wow so apparently the idea which this is a place that my parents grew up at but in Detroit on Belle Isle there's a there's a um there's a, like a children's, um, it's like a children's zoo. Mm. Um, apparently, what inspired Fairyland was the Detroit Children's Zoo on Belle Isle. So it's interesting that Detroit. Wow, what a co- what, what a connection to Roscoe and or your, my family, yeah. your family, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's one of the earliest amusement parks. It's ten acres. It's got. A bunch of like little kitty rides, so it's got like carousels and little Ferris wheels and shit, and they're tiny, dude. They're like fucking little. <laughs> I think right now because of COVID, a lot of that shit is closed. I could be wrong. I know that they're starting to loosen things up. Uh, it's got a petting zoo. Um, it's got all, all of its like super beautiful landscape gardens, like much like Disneyland, you know. Yeah. Um, and it's got the oldest continuously operating puppet show in the United States. Wow. And the main puppeteer, I believe that he started in, I think he started in like 1970 as well, Mm -hmm. when he was 10 years old working there, and the dude is still working that show to this day. Oh, wow. That's awesome, dude. And that's, dude, so he, so Disney definitely was there. Big like time. it's not just like no no it's like because he hired people from this yeah party. he did yeah and they're, they're the like the puppet person that he hired I mean they were doing a lot of puppet shows and they and Children's Fairyland in the, in the early days was or the, and still to this day they're they're known for their puppet shows dude so, I want to catch one they're known for their puppet shows but do you know what famous puppeteer got their start and also met Jim Henson. At Children's Fairyland in Oakland? No. A big one. Um, Jeff Dunham. No, I'm a fucking dork. <laughs> no. Hey, I've got the bomb or whatever. Yeah, bigger. Bigger than that. Uh, man, Elmo guy? No, well, I don't know if you did Elmo, but you're getting close. Check on me, Bob. Who's, yeah. who's like the most famous puppeteer, to, other than Jim Henson and well, Brian Henson, who's the most puppet famous puppeteer at Henson? Frank Oz. Yep. Whoa, Frank Oz worked there? That's where he got his start. Dude, that's... And he met Henson there. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Thank God for Children's Fairyland USA. Yeah, dude. It's got some fucking weird roots, bro. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. And it's still active today. It's still active to this day. Dude, that's awesome. They almost fucking lost their shit during COVID. They burned through all their cash reserves, and they ended up having to get... They basically got bailed out by um, a, like a huge fundraising campaign during COVID where um, there was these two guys, like a movie director and an actor. I think the, he's like an actor rapper. Um, I think he was one of the guys in Hamilton. 
Um, oh. What the fuck is his name? I, I Lin Manuel it. Miranda. No, 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 oh. no. It was what the fuck is his name? I, I got it written down somewhere in here. Um, oh yeah, uh, David Diggs. He's he was in Hamilton. He's been in a bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. But they got together and they did this like this fundraiser where I I'm not clear on exactly how it operated, but it was this this website where teachers and also uh, celebrities can upload them telling stories, whether it be um, like nursery, like tale or nursery rhymes or or whatever the story m- may be. Um, they can upload it to this site and then you can donate to that site to have access to these like storytelling um, videos. I'm not entirely sure on that. I, I, it was kind of, I didn't really understand exactly when I was doing research what was actually going on but it was some kind of like innovation whether with with video and storytelling and some kind of paywall where you could access this by donating to children's fairyland which fucking saved their ass that's that's awesome man they have such a story and i'm glad that they're here i actually really want to do like an emergency trip there like because i'm really fascinated by it well how old's gavin gavin is five so gavin would be probably a perfect age to take them there. yeah so you should go up there another thing about fairyland is that it's cheap to get in so yeah i think it's i, I want to say like right now it's 13 bucks to get in oh, it's nothing yeah. no and they're doing like because of covid they're and it's kids they're doing like these weird sessions where they're um they're open from like nine to three or something or nine to two and then there's like a cleaning hour and then they're they reopen so, but it's thirteen bucks a person. Whether and I think it's like they say, like one to a hundred. Dude, maybe I'll go up there and hit up all the. I'll, I'll do uh, all the small parks. Yeah, with you when you're up there, maybe you know if it works Dude, out. Be sick. I want to yeah. go to Children's Fairyland, but you have to have a kid to go inside the park. We'll pay one. No, I know, <laughs> no, no. I'll bring Gavin. Go. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be cool. I've always wanted to go back. Yeah, that'd be awesome, man. Yeah, I. There's something about like just those old school theme parks that have always fascinated me and um i is uh so where it's in oakland downtown oakland dang so it's in downtown oakland that's yeah dude rad. it's fucking weird that's so crazy it's just oakland's in- a oakland's a rough ass place too so yeah. i would Im- imagine that like when you're at children's fairyland you could hear fucking sirens going off around you and <laughs> who fucking knows man do you think the raiders have been there to the to children's <laughs> fairyland <laughs> yeah Yes, they have. Yeah, 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 they did a puppet show. Oh dang, that'd be like their uh, what's their fan? Bi- the pit. What oh they, yeah, the black hole. The black hole. Yeah, Do you think yeah they like they were the they were the like audience. <laughs> yeah, <That'd be> fucking dope. <laughs> so when, I remember like as a kid at Fairyland, they like the 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 things that really stick out in my head were um, they had this like uh, they they call it Willie the Whale, which is what I have that little um, framed postcard. Um, they have a Willie the Whale, which is fucking to me it's like iconic, and. You go inside the, the whale's mouth, and there's this... At, at each little play area, or, like, little nursery rhyme, or, like, you know, whatever... What are those things called? Fairy tale? Yeah. Um, the little fairy tale areas. What There's these, like, boxes, and they give you the uh, Fairyland Magic Key. It's called. It's actually called the Magic Key. And you plug it into the box, and then this audio track pops on, and it's, like, music, and it kind of tells either the story, or it'll yeah. have, like, a little song. Humpty Dumpty. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, but yeah. I remember... Going into Willie the Whale, like walking in there, I remember being fucking super stoked on that because as a kid, it's like you're, it's like almost like going into Monstro as a kid. And I think, like, when you look at Monstro at Disneyland and then you go and you look at Willie the Whale, you can see where there's some kind of, I mean, I don't know, it's like, it, to me, you can see the influence. There's a Sambo, not Sambo. Oh no, I mean, not. That is not the word. <laughs> no, but you know what's the thing that influenced uh, Lion King? Oh, Kimbo the Kimbo, Kimbo the Lion that's, Yeah, that's something else. But yeah, it's <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> what we're we talking about again? I don't. Oh yeah, Children's Fairyland. Yeah. Uh, what's the? Do they got like prime rib there? Or what's their food like? You know, I'm not entirely sure, but I know they have like this like. So all their dude, it's fucking themed out. So every like structure is themed into something and I do know there's like a pumpkin coffee cart. Really? Yeah, so there's like That a, sounds fun. A pumpkin dude. and it's like a little pumpkin and there's a coffee cart at the pumpkin inside. Pumpkin lattes. 
I, that would be awesome if they had pumpkin lattes all day, like all season long, That'd or be cool. all year long. The Christmas must look really fun there. I don't know what they if they have anything special for Christmas. They should. It's I would. So I would assume. Magical. I mean, obviously, like they, they, you would think that they would have like a fucking tree or something. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I don't know. Dude, I I want to go. Uh, Dude, it's sick. Yeah, man. it sounds so cool. Yeah. It kind of sounds a little bit like. Uh, the uh, we t- we'd had Daniel Eaches on and we talked about it. Even Kevin Tinkin, the Fresno dudes, sure. the Fresno theme park, which is also like a children's theme park. Very, you have to have a kid, right? And they have a Storybook Land. Yeah, it's very. Have you been to Storybook Land? No, but there's another place in Sacramento that's very similar to all of what we're talking about called Fairy Tale Town. Really, dude? And I have. Wow. I, I don't know. That's a bitchin' name, dude. Yeah, I remember seeing the outside of it, but I do, and my mom said I'd been there, but I don't remember ever going there. That's funny, but you remember children's Fairyland? Yeah. Oh, big time! Willie yeah. the Whale, like, and then there's like uh, Miss Mother Hubbard, and then there's the Three Bears Little Village, or not Three Bears, the th- Three Little Pigs Village. So you can go in each house. Oh, that's awesome, dude! Fairy Tale or Fairy Fairyland USA in Oakland is is a fucking quite the place, dude. I gotta go. You know what they also do? So you can also buy a season pass. It's Thirteen bucks to get in per person, but you can also get a season pass if you live in Oakland for like 130 bucks for the year. Um, but you can also rent Fairyland for like a birthday party or a wedding. Really? Yeah, man. That's and awesome. I guess if you rent it for a wedding, you have access to the whole 10 acres. That's so sick. Yeah. That's cool, dude. Yeah. That, that's probably that, cost a fortune, but even still. Yeah, that'd be great to do it at a theme park. Dude, at Fairyland? At Fairyland, too, of all places, you know? Imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. Very unique, very old school. Um, it's just it's so cool to see that places like this still exist and yeah. they're that old. I'm glad people care enough too to like keep them preserved and around. You oh know? well, yeah, and, and there's so much history with with Fairyland. Too. Yeah, fuck man, Frank, Frank Oz, Oz, dude. Yeah, yeah wow, like Walt, Walt Disney. Yeah, yeah that's uh, storybook, storybook land, the ride. You know all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I, Story Village. So right. man, th- yeah, it's. That's really cool, dude. I'm glad we could talk about this and hopefully open some people's For sure, uh, man. ears and eyes to uh, Children's Fairyland USA. Absolutely. Uh, Oakland. Well, especially for like people that like, like, like for people that live in Southern California, like some of the listeners that live down here that have kids, you know, because we're at an age right now where a lot of our friends have kids. I mean, me and Zach, we have a butt baby. Bub baby. Yeah. Um, and. Eventually, we'll take that butt baby to, to uh, once the pink eye clears up. I mean, it might be. You a have to go when it's a little cooler too. You don't want to be melting. Uh, no, that would be yeah. awful. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to lose the baby. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Yeah, but dude, I, I, this has been awesome, man. I'm glad we could delve right into children's yeah, fairy place, man. Fairyland. I, uh, fairyland. Yeah. Uh, fairy USA. place. Yeah. <laughs> but dude, so where can people find you, Mr. Roscoe Soul Train? You can find me at. Tr- you find me and Zach at Children's Fairyland USA uh, with our butt baby uh, going down all the slides. We're uh, we're just only doing slides at Fairyland this year. Do they have slides? Fuck yeah, they got slides. Damn, They got dude. slides. They got gardens. They got little kitty rides. They got a petting zoo. They got a pumpkin coffee cart. Man. It's fucking sick, dude. Dude, that's so cool. And it's, it's so funny that you mentioned that about... Um, how well uh, Disneyland used to have a lot of those kids' activities. Yeah, they used to have more of that. And Big so, time. You know, like uh, that's I, one I thing it. I feel like Disneyland has like lost is that they're just trying to everything has to be tied to an IP. Yeah. But they're losing a lot of like children's play areas. Yeah. Um, like you think about uh, like uh, what was that, the Bugs Land. There was a yeah. lot of like room for kids to kind of fuck around. Yeah. And now there still is that little ropes course. Um, in yes. DCA, I love that dude. Which is is cool for the little kids. I fucking love that trail, man. Yeah, yeah. It, that stuff really uh, helps the experience, you know, it, it, because you, yeah, you want to just like let loose and yeah, Toontown, you could kind of see it, but there's so much liability, so like right. a lot of stuff's been like. So I wonder if they're gonna bring some of that stuff. If they're gonna with try the new to, Toontown, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if they're gonna bring that stuff back. I think they'll probably find ways. I mean, dude, the the queues at Disney World. Um, and a lot of the new cues, like like in uh, Snow White's, um, the, the new Snow White ride at Disney World, 
the the queue is super interactive. Is it? I don't, rem- I don't it's, even remember. It's great. That ride fucking sucks, by the way. Oh, you didn't like that Fuck ride? No, it's terrible. <laughs> it's a piece of shit. It's another ride where, well, now they've kind of corrected it with uh, the Enchanted Forest or whatever the new Enchanted, what are they calling the new Snow Ride right at Disneyland? Oh, Redo? Enchanted Tales? Yeah, Enchanted, something like that. Enchanted yeah, Snow White. Yeah, yeah, But they've yeah. kind of like brought Snow White back into it more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. just kind of, I, I think it's disappointing that's, that Disney doesn't really give a fuck about Snow White. Yeah, that's like the, the one first that, princess. Yeah, the first princess. I mean, yeah. she did a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I love I love both those rides. Uh, even the new. It sucks, dude. It's not a very good ride. It's well, not a good ride. Oh, Sorry. you're talking about Enchanted. No, I'm talking. No, the Enchanted's good. I'm talking about the train one. The train one. It's yeah. just it's short. It's not worth the wait, and Snow White's hardly in it at all, and it's 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 a huge disappointment. Dang, that's it's a not that's a good, hot dude. take though, right? Because people not good. people love that ride at Disney. Yeah, because people love anything that Disney puts out. Yeah, people are willing to fucking suck Disney's tit no matter what. Yeah, because I remember um, when uh, when fucking uh, uh, Superstar Limo came out, everyone was jazzed about that. Sure. And that ride is next really time, good. Next time, if you ever go back <laughs> to Walt Disney World, next time, think about how long you waited for that ride. And how short that ride is. I want to say the ride's 90 seconds. It is short. It's fu- it's stupid. Yeah. I and mean, people are like, well, it's the first time that like, little kids can go on a roller coaster. That fucking sucks for little kids. Because <laughs> that shit is boring. Dude, I love That the- one scene is cool. Yeah. But it's short. And Snow White's not even in it. I don't know, man. No, that's it. That's an interesting way to look at it. I, I, yeah, I, I, I do really like the Enchanted version. I thought I wasn't going to because I love the creepy, scary oh, the, the tales. The new one? Oh yeah, the new no. one I, I really liked. Uh, yeah, it yeah, was it's, magical. It's fucking dude. awesome. Yeah. But now when you go on Pinocchio, you're like, fuck. <laughs> but Pinocchio needs a fucking facelift, big time. Yeah, yeah. Because some of the stuff in Pinocchio might be a little questionable these days. You know. Oh, I love it. I love that though. I fucking, I love the smoking. I love all that. The roughhousing part. No, I'm talking about the Sambo. Oh. <laughs> but guys, I love you guys. Thanks for uh, listening to Robert Land and watching. We, we we love to inform you sometimes on theme parks you may not know exist. Yeah. And uh, we you know we like uh, poo poo jokes too. And yep. uh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, follow me at Robert Land Podcast on everything. Mm-hmm. Follow Roscoe. Uh, Roscoe YouTube Soul- and Instagram Roscoe Soul Train. If you just type in Roscoe R O S S C O on YouTube, it should pop right up. And uh, yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I didn't mean to say uh, that Sambos? word. Yeah, I just it, well, you're, I actually you're, really you're racist. No, so it's okay. No, no, it's okay when you're no, racist. No, no, no. I just thought it was because I, I I forgot what Kimbo was Kimbo, called. Yeah. yeah, look up Kimbo <laughs> if you're curious about uh, another thing being emulated. Sambos Lion King. was a tiger, I believe. Yeah, he was. Or maybe it was the the little boy. I think it might have been the little Who boy. It was an Indian boy, it was by Indian the way. Boy. But then they also did it. They, Indian boy. they did. They used that for other things too to discriminate or like you know make. Were, we've 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 touched on Sambo's a couple times. Yeah, because there's a restaurant. There's chain. a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just like. Um, they you just know. originally they just changed their name. Yeah, yeah. Chads. <laughs> That's what it's called now. <laughs> it's called Chads. Oh really? Yes. Yes. Oh, so there is a they. Keep- the last Sambo's in Santa Barbara is now called Chads. Yeah. They just I mean they just Is it like a white guy caricature like or just white guys? <laughs> yeah, white just guys. Just only chads. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What a perfect HD name, bro. It's hilarious. Know, yeah. Welcome to Chads. <laughs> <laughs> Unigate will have a see you. <laughs> have a have a see burger. Yeah, dude. Well, uh we'll storm the capital together. Dude. No, but I I love you guys. Uh we'll see you soon. Life is a highway, and I'm going to ride that shit all night long. All night long. long. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs>